Hello, congratulations, and you made it uh, as the first Filipino astronaut to be sent to space. Yes, um, thank you. What made you decide to join AXA Apollo Search for the first Philippine astronaut? First and foremost, it was always a dream. Very small, little dream that I really wanted to um, pursue. So, seeing a commercial that nothing beats an astronaut, of course, is a very catchy tagline. So, instantaneously, I just had to sign up, uh, create an account, and ask for votes. Then on, when I straight to ready to test, straight to ready to challenges, and as well as uh, final test of being in space camp. How was your training at Kennedy Space Center? My training at Kennedy Space, space Center was really good. Uh, I cannot replace it for anything else that I've experienced in life since it was all just a dead and rush. It's all about meeting new people, it's all about just, just living life as of the moment. What are the things that you have learned from the training? The things that I've learned from the training in the space camp is that there will always be someone stronger. There will, there will always be someone faster, someone smarter, someone who is more fit for the job. But it's up to you to make the most of what you have as a moment and really shine out. Uh, what are or what was the challenge or task that you think tested or stretch your abilities? I, I'm sorry but I, I don't think that there were much of a challenge there because again, like I said, I just had to find the fun in what I was doing and everything went nice and easy, easy, easy. What are the skills that you have applied for you to be able to surpass all the challenges? Of course, there were obstacles, of course, there were doubts, but being able to bounce back from that was, was very crucial in my performance. Also, the spirit, the spirit to fight, the spirit to never give up, is very, very important. How has this whole experience changed you? This whole experience paved a new way in my uh, curiosity, in my passion, with space. And again, space my game is like somewhat a sci fi flick already for me later in my years, but, but recently it's been revived and it's it caused a whole new uh, enthusiasm and all the story of you know, all the people that I knew that were very interested in the space. I know that you just came back from the US after the training. Uh, when are you leaving for, uh, for, the, for, the, for the US again? Well, it hasn't been scheduled yet, but next year will be fully booked. The whole year? So what will you, uh, what will be your uh, adjustment uh, since you'll be out, uh, out in the training for the whole year? Well, of course there, there will be sacrifices. So one way or another I'll have to uh, balance if I can better bargain in the property so I can have some more time for myself, so I'll have some more time to train and it's not going to be Since because it's also a good way of marketing our brand. Sacrifices, more training, more discipline in diet, more discipline in uh, studying, especially in the uh, space, the system, the space, and exploration. What kind of support that you get from your family? I, I have an all-out support from my family, my sisters, my parents, my, even my nephews support me with this 110%, so I, I couldn't ask for more. What can you share or impart to others about your whole experience? Well, basically you just have to see things in a different perspective. If you're already in outer space, you already see things in a more beautiful perspective. You see the earth the way no one else can see it. You get to feel, experience everything else. And with that, the way I can share it is just by giving back to people. Not exactly by telling, narrating them a story. But of course, using this influence that has been my responsibility from this point forward to change the landscape of the society to a more active, more, pro more proactive society. So if ever, uh, my last question is, if ever you will be uh, a certified astronaut, uh, are you ready to, uh, to, go, uh, to live out in outer space? 
for a very long time. Well, it's a cause if, if, the, if they call me to live right you know, in this space and represent the Philippines, I would not say no to that opportunity. Of course, life is all about learning, life is all about growth. And if you start turning down opportunities, you probably just stay where you are. So from then on, I'm just going to live, live the life just fighting, just showing the Filipino that there is always a chance to live or reach for your dreams. Thank you so much, Chino. Thank you so much.